Koopy that the Ken on that um. There's like this. There's, there's a, a video. Yeah, there's okay, a video. I was on commentary yeah. there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I got a lot of hate mail for that. But, oh no. Um. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, if anything's posted on, you know, Reddit, they're gonna hate me. Oh god. <laughs> so, so um. No, no, no. Um. What happened was our friend Brandon mm -hmm. was was just dominating with Chun Li. Got toward the end. That was when uh, Kubi Jose did a fireball. At the super, right? It hit. He proximity canceled it. Ugh. Yeah, because he saw as soon as it, he was buffering in the super. So as mm -hmm. soon as a fireball hit, the game has enough leniency to allow for the super to hit, and it yeah. goes with that. We pretty much knew about it, but it was just so hype because Kubi has. I wouldn't say he's, he's got great reactions, but he's really got good confirms. Mm -hmm. And you can get so far in this game off of confirms. Yeah. Because if you don't confirm, if you don't RSVP to the party, you're just looking at the event page and saying interested, <laughs> you'll hit someone four times with something, and you'll get something. But this guy, no. He says, I'm going. He shows up. He brings outside liquor. He brings a few uninvited guests. Oh, boy. Some of them are female, so you know it's cool. Okay, okay. And, I mean, that's just a metaphor for the damage he does. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 using Ken. That did a ton of damage, yeah. Well, I mean, he has been switching to Guile a little bit. Okay. I mean, he's got a good Guile. Has a really I mean, good Guile might definitely a great option in this matchup. Yes, but, I mean, you look, man, tears and character matchups are a thing. Oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you yeah. gotta stick to the special sauce. Exactly. And if you course. got a Ken, you know you're gonna bring out that Ken. Oh. And but there this is, is definitely a common matchup here in South Florida. Yeah, it's South Florida getting hyped for their boys. Kami going with V-Trigger 2, busting out some of the Alegria. Kubi is sticking with the heat rush. Okay. He likes walking on those hot coals. He's got hot feet. Oh, man. All right, we got South Florida <laughs> cheering on. Itachi's legacy, hero of time. No, no, sorry, Time Dictator. Oh, time Dictator. Time Dictator. Um, Chad, yeah, Bison player. <laughs> yeah, here of Time's an old Orlando player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've actually never seen this matchup very He's often. Yang, right? Uh, who? Hero of Time? Yes, he's Yeah, I remember him. I played him online, yeah. Um, so, so how does this matchup play out? By the way, Yang is Rose's worst matchup in Street Fighter 4. Really? Fun fact, yeah. Okay. Rose, uh, Yang, Rufus, and Yun. <laughs> okay, Ramos uses that claw. Beautiful work with that low fierce Barcelona drop. Maintains that corner pressure. Trying to shimmy with that stand short. So what does Vega get from his V-Trigger 2? Um, he gets a nice counter, but gets this really cool kick that puts him into a juggle state. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know specifically the utility for why Kami uses this one in particular. I mean, especially since the Rose recently got buffed from what I heard. Yeah, Rose is really good right now. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of the Tuxedo Mask. Of course. Oh, stand strong. Got that confirm into that EX Azuna. Making quick work in round one. Round two. Well, that first round went by pretty pretty fast. It I, did. I, I think Kubi can adjust. A, a lot, of, a lot of what happened is Ramos just kind of jumped in on him and he wasn't ready to kind of answer his options. Yeah, but that V-Skill through the fireball is great. One thing that's good about players who are good at Street Fighter 4. Oh, double overhead. Are you kidding me? Well, because Kubi, what he likes to usually do is faint the overhead and do a low short. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just saw a buff right there with that step kick creating that juggle state into oh, that yeah, short. Oh, yeah, that's you new, can, right? Yeah, nice. That was a new buff that Ken just received, oh, wow. folks. Showing it right. off in full force. Ah, I think he whiffed off that jumping fierce, created a recovery state on landing. You know, one thing I really like is how Ramos is doing the um, the dodge to go around fireball. So. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's yes! firm. That's God! what I'm saying! He just RSVP to the party! There we go! See that confirm off that he low He just strong? found out about it! How did he RSVP oh, already? Oh, and then he does oh the run! God. He does the run, takes a step back, and does the stand fierce. That's the QB special, folks. Auto-correct off that wall jump! That wasn't EX! That wasn't safe! Oh, he's gonna trade some buttons. Oh, jump. boy! He's got that target combo in his sleep! What the cross up Tatsu! That was nice! That Season 1 special! I haven't seen that in a hot minute. That was, that was fresh. And Kubi steals it in this electrifying, fast-paced South Florida showdown. This is how we do in our bi-weeklies at the Versus Gaming Center, Arcade Odyssey. You think we'll see a character switch? Uh, probably a V-Trigger switch. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so one thing I want to say is that I really like how Ramos was able to go around and punish that fireball. Mm -hmm. And so, like, with his V-Skill with the dodge. Because that's one thing that um, players from other versions of Street Fighter capitalize on is they know how to punish fireballs. And people who just jump into Street Fighter um, 5, 
they think that fireballs is just a way to extend pressure, but fireballs can be risky. Yeah, Because you can do an, an invincible move that can blow up an untrue block string. Yep. Or um, Ken's fireball at point blank is minus five. Yep. So you have yep. you have options, and Ramos knows the options. You are seeing cerebral versus reaction. Yeah. Round and one. Kubi definitely clutching it out in those last couple of rounds. I like My it. Goodness. Now, now uh, Ramos is hoping for this matchup to go from night to day. Get it? Oh God. <laughs> I, I, I like I, the pressure. I give you a four out of five, James Chen. I like the pressure, man. He's rolling on him. Ugh. Got those stand strongs, got the pokes, but that's safe. Oh, I like that jump on jump. But Kubi made sure he go went to the other side, so he's got him on the edge. Gonna throw him into the tomb of Tutankhamun. Well, not really. We're in New Zealand, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know what that's really a tomb of. Some important tomb, I'm sure. Some Meaty, relevancy. Meaty low strong got that counter hit, but you can't. There's issues with confirming that low strong into the uh, chin bus into that sequence back strong in the chin buster second. Oh! <laughs> South Florida definitely cheered for their boys right now. My goodness. No, that, that's just some random stuff that Jose does. I mean, it's it's cerebral because he knows you're not looking for it, you know. And it's yeah. just like you could complain about the nature of the player or the option. But he knows things you're not looking for, and then he's got his own setups, his own reactions that just like give you a headache. No, I respect. Sometimes you sometimes you just have to go for the read beyond the read, you know. I like how he did the late confirm on that ex Azuna. Gets as much corner carry as possible. We're gonna see some tomb time. Oh God! Got the stun. Claw. Oh, we. Re I respect it. It's the reset. Now he's got a full meter, and that is punishable, folks. Yeah, that. <laughs> this ain't Street Fighter Four. Yeah. Oh, and you do not want to see QB in Street Fighter Oh, God, 4. yeah. Did you play Ken in that game, too? Yeah, Ken. Oh, uh, boy. Really strong Dudley and uh, maybe a jury. Round one. Okay, fair enough. Fight. Yeah, Kubi got a little desperate in that last round, but I definitely think he, he definitely has the tools in the matchup to do well. Yeah, very He just kind of, like, yolo a little bit too much in the, in the past. I don't think he believes there's a too much yolo. I honestly don't think Kubi believes that. I mean, that's like that's a, that's a good thing and a bad thing, honestly. Well, I mean, he he has multi he has variant like multi variant um, options. That was some great damage from Ramos. Good stop on the pressure. Ramos trying to walk in to his face and try and get the pressure going. Yeah. Looks Let's like see the meaty. Oh boy, lead. got blown up. Goes coast to coast with that. Oh, oh, to, oh, he's no punish! Him. That was a beautiful baiting Ooh. cross up Tatsu. Yeah, that's still a thing, folks. See, the thing is, Ramos baited out Kubi, and then Kubi ended up baiting Ramos. <laughs> my, my God. It's a scramble, man. That's how we play in South Florida. But I say the one thing from Kubi you need to watch out for is when he runs in, takes a step back, and does stand fierce. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just something he does, man. You wouldn't believe all the people I've seen get hit with that. Not, not a bad option. It's one of those setups that makes a good player look like a scrub. Oh, oh yeah. You're like, why would, he, why would he tech there? Why would he press a button? He's just walking back. Well, he tech there. <laughs> yeah, Kubi getting out of the corner here. Ramos. You gotta be careful. That means oh, boy. Is plus two. Got a little too impatient there. Did not have his V trigger for the cancel. Yeah, I like how Kubi was able to get that bread and butter combo off of a block sweep. That's oh fairness. boy! No problems at all with that nerf to the stand short. Sorry, crouching strong. Oh, this is tense. Kubi's on set point right now. This might be it. No, it's close. It's a One tap. One more. It's a tap. Goes oh, to the low. Overhead. Great block of the oh. overhead. Uh oh, no V trigger. Oh, oh boy, this is it. This is it. Safe. Oh, nice. To escape the meaty wall jump. That was beautiful. La Ramos was aware of the escape and took advantage. Final round, folks. Oh, Goes straight oh. up off the wall, switches sides, doesn't want to see how Ramos is going to respond to the mix up. I'm just going to take the throw. Oh, boy. I'm I, thought, I thought throw loops were nerfed. Oh, he's got those Ramos oh, taken. Oh, man. Can you count the amount of sheep on the screen? Because Koopy is putting him to sleep. He's not dead yet, but he will get a nice setup afterwards. Yeah. How will he respond? Oh, this, this, <laughs> oh my God! 
Oh. Now Kubik can take in the corner. Oh, he's good got tech. He's got mad life lead. Oh, uh, don't let him. Oh, nice. Oh my God, oh, minus five. Perfect. Oh, oh boy. got the jump in, but the don't tech let him after. Do it. Oh, reaches a little bit too much. Woo. Strong, strong finish from Kubi. It's tough, man. When you're in that deficit, you 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 want to go in. You want to get get try and do your best, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's tough. But sometimes the best option is to hang back and try and figure out what you can do.